Selena babies, it's your girl Selena Corinne here and I am back with another college roommate horror story. My first horror story you guys love so much and you guys requested a part two because I told you if you like the first one, let me know if you want a part two because I had, you know, college stories for days. And I still have more, so if you want more, let me know. I got them all for you, okay? <laughs> Before we get into this video, if you are new, hey girl, hey, or hey boy, hey, however you define yourself as, go ahead and click that like button, give this video a thumbs up, and press that subscribe button. Like, why would you do all the other stuff and not subscribe? Weird. But you are now part of the family, so. <laughs> if you are not new, Hey, Lena Babies, I missed you. Y'all, if you were a Lena Baby, we need a new intro. Like, I kind of like that one, but you know how, like, if I be like, you're new, say, hey, girl, hey, da, da, da. Just drop in the comments what our new intro should be so we all know. Okay. I had to write notes. Y'all know I'm always good with my notes. I'm not leaving my notes anywhere because I need to make sure. My first college uh, roommate horror story, I forgot, like, pinpoints because it was just so much that happened. But this one... I really pointed out like the main details of the things that went wrong. So we're gonna start off and get into this video. All right, so this started freshman year of college. Um, I moved in IUPUI North Hall dorm rooms. It was, I say, August 2017. I had just got out of high school. I did have a original roommate, which if you looked at the last video and dropped in the comments, she was down there, hey Lily. But I was nursing at first and then I decided I wanted to do radio and broadcasting, journalism and all those things because I did that in high school and I knew I wanted to pursue my career there. So at first with me being a nursing student, I was going to be, it was kind of like a hotel, but it was called, what's it called? The Towers, I think it's called Towers. But basically, um, um, it was like a hotel that had just been renovated and turned into dorms and so if you were nursing most likely you were put into tower but you were also already spread out across the campus just they try to put main people in the towers I was originally assigned to the towers but because I changed my major it made me go to North Hall also, pause. Y'all, y'all probably been wondering why I have not been vlogging and stuff lately. Have you, why you've not seen me? I had a mosquito bite on my eye. And if you see me like scratching my neck, yeah, I had mosquito bites from being outside. If you want a story time on me getting a mosquito bite on my eye, I've never had this before. Let me know, cause I got receipts and all. Cause when I catch Billy the mosquito, it's on a crock. So back to the story. So I decided to just, like I showed you in the last vlog right here, if you are looking for a roommate, you go into the group and search for other people who are also looking for a roommate. So I did. I was kind of upset, you know, I'm not gonna say kinda, I was really upset that me and Lily could not be roommates, but I just knew that I didn't want to do nursing anymore. And now looking back, I'd be saying all the time, like I wish I did nursing, but it wasn't meant for me. So I met my original roommate through, I believe the groups and all that, and we hung out and all that, which was Lily. And then once we found out what we, we wasn't able to be roommates, I decided to look for another roommate. And that's how I found Huey. So let's just, y'all, do you have your popcorn? Because this is absurd. Like, I don't know what it is with me and roommates, but I only had two roommates because after the second one, I was done. So this one right here, y'all, is what really made me question having the next roommate, but I gave people the benefit of the doubt. Anyway, me and Huey, when we first moved in, it was literally like a college experience that you see, you know, people doing the move-in vlogs and all that, meeting the roommates. That's how it literally was. I wish I had vlogged and did YouTube back then so you guys could see because you might have been able to see all the stuff I was going through. So me and Huey, we would meet up on campus. We would go get dinner because we had like a calf and if you got like meal points or whatever, you can eat, of course. And so we would go get breakfast, lunch, dinner. She would bring her friends. I would bring my friends. We would meet each other people and all that stuff. It was really good. It was like really cool. No problems. This, you know, everything takes a turn to the left when it comes to roommates. And I'm not going to say all the time because you will have a roommate that is just dope as F. Like 
you will have a roommate that you'd be like, you know what, we finna be friends forever. Even after college, we're stuck. So it was, I would say, it was about to be like fall break or something when things started taking a turn. I would say the first pinpoint would be I, so with being in a dorm, you guys know, like your beds are right beside each other dang near, unless you just have like a huge dorm or you have like a suite where you all have your own rooms and you guys just share the common areas, things like that. But with the dorm, your bed is on one side and your roommate's bed is on the other side. So it's like, how much privacy do we really have? I would be on the phone. So mind you, before I even say this story, she would be, you know, interacting on campus, which that's fine. I was too. I would just get back before her. She would get back at two, three o'clock in the morning. Fine. That's not me. That's you. Do you boo? So I would be on the phone. Okay. At the time, you know, at the time I would be on the phone up at night knowing I need to be in class in the morning, but I need to talk to people. So I would be on the phone and then I would usually fall asleep on the phone or I'll just have my music playing to help me go to sleep and all that. And this girl lost it. Mind you, I told you she comes in at two or three o'clock in the morning. Okay. So when you come in and you need to change clothes and all that, what do you do? You turn on the light. Okay. At this point, now I'm asleep. So you're getting mad at me for being on the phone. And it's not like I'm just on the phone. <laughs> no, I would literally try it. Like, this is how I would talk on the phone. Yeah, so, you know, seeing you at so, so, so. Like, I can only be so quiet, you know, with me being on the phone and we're sharing a common space. You know what I mean? So, it got to the point where she literally just could not stand it. She did not want to hear anything. But my thing was, I was on the phone before you came in. It is two or three o'clock in the morning. At this point, I'm not even really talking because I have class at 8 a.m. So you're just literally probably hearing like the small anxiety calming music or things like that. So this girl tried to call the RA and say that I was disrupting her sleep. Now, I told you guys that part first. That did not happen. Like That's not the first thing that happened that made everything go left. I just wanted to put that out there so you guys remember what else I'm about to tell you. So once we, you know, it got to bringing tension or whatever, me, honestly, I, you know, like we share this space. If you're on the phone, as long as you're not loud and being disrespectful and stuff, I mean, how quiet can you be without just being mute and nobody else can hear you? You know what I mean? So the RAs, they would always be on my side because they're like, well, you know, Huey, you, you are sharing like a space. Is she loud or something? And she'd be like, no, I just hear her and I can't sleep. Okay, so let's backtrack real quick. When we like, so we didn't get into it until then. And then I'm trying to remember, I think it was other, yeah, it would be times where she would get mad if I'm eating chips. One thing about me, I do not smack my food. Like I do not like when people smack around me. So I know for a fact, I do not smack on my food, but it would be like, let's say for, our, for instance, hot cheetah puff. I eat it. Of course it's going to be, you know what I mean? She would literally, like, girl, you want a chip? Dang, just say something. So I was like, you know what, girl, it's something else up with you. And I don't know, but I really don't care because who are you? I was like really confused, y'all. And I started to notice more when her friends stopped hanging out with her. They would get upset. And then mind you, like when we had met each other friends, our friends became friends with each other and things like that. So her friends, well, her old friends would tell me, you know, what happened and things like that. She's controlling or she's just being absurd. Cool. So this girl tried to be funny, y'all. She will literally, I'm asleep. So once uh, fall semester had ended, I had switched my classes because after fall semester, I was like, there is no way I'm taking 8 a.m. classes, even though I still ended up taking 8 a.m. classes. But I was like, there's no way I'm taking 8 a.m. classes. So for the first time, I had class until like, I didn't have to be at class until like 12 or something like that. And then it was like a class that started in the middle after fall break that started back at 8 a.m. But with me going to my class, it didn't start until 12 p.m. 
she would literally like she would go to class and she would literally leave our dorm room open y'all i mean open so i don't care if it's just a crack or nothing you know what you're doing you know if somebody left that door open for you while you asleep like Anybody could kidnap me. Anything could happen. We're on campus. There's so much stuff that goes on. And you leave the door open because you're mad at me? Okay. So I would always text her and I would be like, hey, I don't know if you meant to, but when you left the dorm, you left the door open. No reply. Okay. You, I mean, your stuff is still here, so you got to come back to the room. So <laughs> we'll talk later. Have a good day. It will go again. She'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. I just be in a rush. I don't mean to, girl. How do you not mean to close your dorm all the way? And then, y'all, when the door is open, when you look in, you're seeing all of her stuff. Like, you can't see me until you literally open up the door and go into the dorm. But it's still the fact that, like, they may not know that I'm in there and they they see your stuff just wide open. Nobody's there. If they look through and come in and try and steal our stuff. And then I'm in here and then boop, bada be. I'm just laid out like a bug that's just been smashed. So no, I was like, you know what? Okay, so I went to go to the RA. The RA, well, maybe she doesn't mean so. Yeah, I thought so too in the beginning, but when you start texting people over and over and they don't change and they know what they're doing, that's when it becomes a problem. I would say towards the end of like when it was time for us to move out, it just got to the point where we could not be around each other, y'all. And it was like, I honestly, to this day, don't know what sparked her hatred or dislike against me or whatever, which I really don't care. But when I say it was going so good and then everything just went left because I'm on the phone or I'm eating chips or anything, mind you, you're coming in at two or three in the morning. Oh, and this is another pinpoint. So, with her coming in at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, okay, cool. She would come in, literally turn on the lights, make so much noise on purpose because she just, I don't know. She just, I don't know. So, she would come in, turn on the lights, get her stuff to take a shower, like grab her caddy and all that, leave the lights on, slam the door. I, I don't know why females tend to be attracted to drama but it's not cute sis okay because a lot of people do stuff on campus knowing that you're not going to do it you're not willing to do it because one fight is going on your record all universities can see it and you're just you know what i mean you're you have no career per se as far as getting a bachelor's degree associates or whatever so my thing is you come in two or three okay you need to see obviously cool turn on the light and get your stuff and then turn it off you see i'm asleep it got to the point where she would literally turn on the light slam the door leave it on be gone for like an hour on purpose and all just talking and stuff then come in turn off the light slam the door and get in the bed when i say I wanted to move my stuff out but at this point I was paying for my my dorms like with the apartment I was not paying for I don't know how thank you lord but with this I was paying for it so I was like you know I can't even just take all my stuff and leave so she eventually took all her stuff and leave why because I made her uncomfortable I did I did I'll admit that it was petty but I did so I got to the point oh you don't want me being on my phone but you want to do all this stuff you want to be coming in late and then leaving on the lights and leaving the door open when you're going to class knowing i'm in here sleep okay okay so we're gonna buy a whole variety pack of hot cheeto puffs we're gonna be on the phone till five o'clock in the morning and i'm gonna leave the door open so i left the door open once just so she could see once i switched my classes to where i was getting up early i left the door open once just to see what she was gonna do she texted me this whole paragraph and i wish i had the receipts y'all but this is 2017 i wish i had the receipts but she was like that's really disrespectful to leave the door open when you know i'm asleep next time make sure you close it behind you excuse me say what no i i i, I can't hear you what you say oh because i thought you was talking to me ma'am let's not contradict ourselves Okay, you literally left the door open while I'm asleep. 
you know exactly what you did. Y'all, if I'm tripping, let me know in the comments. But what, what, what do you guys think made a left turn? Like, I would never be on the phone loud knowing somebody has to be up early in the morning on top of that. I'm on the phone when nobody's in the room with me. So, well, are you mad because you don't have no phone calls or what? I, I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to come on here and give y'all this part two. This one was not as juicy as the first college roommate horror story because that was a lot over there. If you have not seen it, the iCard is right above us. Look, right there. Go ahead and click it. Just watch it. Okay, thank you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button to be a part of the Lena's Babies crew. Duh. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you comment and share this video, y'all. We are almost at 300 subs. We are rising. And then, y'all, wait until we look back at this video in like five months and see how many subs we are at. Okay, because if you're a Lena baby here, you're an OG, period. I love you guys so much. Bye!